evening guys <clears throat> welcome back bnc outdoors here uh, got a little gun project thing going here for you today i got a, uh, a remington model 742 uh, it's a semi-auto 30-06 um, i'm going to show you guys how to disassemble and reassemble this gun and the reason that we need to disassemble reassemble this gun is because i fired it the other day i was cleaning it up and i fired it and the case did not eject uh, upon inspection, if I can get this to focus, you can see all those little dimples on this case. So when I fired it, the chamber has rust pits all inside of it, and it actually, the ejector, ripped the rim of the case head off. Um, so we got to get this barrel off so I can get something in there. To get all of those rust pits out so that when we fire this it will eject the shell smoothly and have nothing that those rust pits can't lock onto the case and it'll eject the shell so let's get started first thing you gotta do is we gotta get this screw out on the end of the forend here It's going to come right up off of there. Alright, now we got everything exposed here. To give you a look inside, got the action. Action bar, you got a spring, there's a little bar inside of it. You can see that bar right there. First thing you got to get to do to get this started is you can see this pin right here. You need to knock this out. Uh, you can kind of see it's evenly spaced on both sides. Just got to get a punch or a nail or something and a hammer and just kind of punch that out. Get your pin out, just lay that to the side. Now, we're going to pull the action back. This bar, okay. Now I got this pin out. So you have a tiny metal piece here, slides down, and you pull this out away so that the bar clears here and you can slide this out straight out. Do be careful because your spring is held in by that. And so my spring <laughs> that was right here just went, Pew! but that's fine. I needed it out anyway. Alright, so here, here's my spring. Once you pull that bar out of there, that's what holds the spring in. The spring usually sits right here with the bar inside of it, okay? That's what cycles the action back and forth, big spring. So just lay that to the side. All right, now, here's the tricky part. This nut right here, sometimes it requires a special tool to get it off of, made by Remington. Luckily, on this one, I have had it apart once, and an adjustable wrench took it off, and I actually, I can loosen it with a pair of pliers now. So luckily I didn't need the special tool. So to get the barrel off, this is the last step in that process. I need to remove this nut. That's what the nut looks like. It's got a little lip on the bottom that goes down inside there. So I'm gonna lay that to the side. And you have a little, little clip that goes on top of that. Now, all that you have left is the barrel. Now, you can see this is pretty thick, this right, and this is attached to the barrel. That's kind of kind of sort of like the recoil load. Um, so you got to pick it up. In order to get it between the action bars, you have to twist the barrel out, and it becomes thinner. So you got to bring it up. Since I have a scope on here, if you don't have a scope, you want to have to do this. But then you work it out. I got the barrel off of there and in my hand. Okay. So now that I got the barrel off, let's get down to the garage. I'll try to show you what the inside of the chamber looks like and I'll kind of show you what I'm going to try. I've never done this before. This is the first time for me too. So you're learning right along with me. Um, I'm going to try to get this out of here. I'm going to try one or two things to see how it works and go from there. So just uh, let's hit the garage and uh, see if we can't get something out of here. Okay, it's very difficult to see down in there, but you can kind of see what I'm dealing with. What I've got inside this chamber. Hopefully you can see that anyway. So first thing we're going to do is I have, 
I did light, it's killing me on this camera. First thing we're gonna do is I have a shotgun cleaning rod and what I believe to be a 410 cleaning brush. Should be close to the 30-06 chamber. And we're gonna spray a little, little contact cleaner down in there, maybe to, just to wash it out a little bit. And then we're gonna take and we're gonna put this drill down in here. I actually felt the barrel get warm a little bit on my hand during that process, which kind of surprised me. Wow. I was actually planning on putting a little sandpaper inside there. And really scrubbing some of that out of there because I thought it was gonna be a lot. I'm gonna clean this chamber out with a Yo, I'm impressed. I gotta show you guys this. I don't know if I'll need sandpaper or not. I mean, that chamber is really, really close to being clean. Like, I am surprised that, that brush brought the majority of all those big clumps of rust out of there. I think I might sandpaper it just a little. Or maybe a piece of this scotch Bright pad that I have here. And just brush it around, just to, uh, give it a real good just give it a real good once over okay so clean the rod put a piece of scotch bright pad in there since i feel like it's pretty clean spray a little wd-40 on it i'm going to put it inside this chamber and kind of do the same thing maybe if there's any bigger if there's any bigger pieces of rust in there maybe this will take care of it Like I am really impressed at how well this is coming clean, how easy it is to come clean. Very surprised. I can see the shoulder of the chamber in there. So I just knocked the expanded case out. It went in and came back out for relatively easy. Okay, now that we got that done, we're ready to put it back together. So, we're gonna do everything we did before, just in reverse. We're gonna turn this barrel sideways, get that in there, because it's too wide, and then we twist it inside the action bars. Now, need to have the action back just a little bit for this to fall right into place. There we go. Got it into place. Barrel fits together good. We got our little, our little metal clip. This little knob goes outward. Clips right on there. Nut. We'll lift down. It fits right into that recoil lug on the barrel. Let's get it lined up good here. There we go. This is the ridiculously tricky part. Okay, so. This. Has to go up, has to be twisted around this way to get started. Alright, we're gonna put this in from the top. This is definitely the hardest part by far. So you get your spring started on here. And basically, what I do is I push this down and leave myself a little gap between the rod and the spring. And then you just gotta start pressing and holding, pressing and holding that spring up on there. It's doable, but I promise you it is complicated. Oh, you get the bar out the bottom, snapped into place, now you've got that. You work that action back. All right, now I got the bar under this lug. Now we're going. Well, come on now. You gotta twist it out. There we go. We gotta get this 
on the inside. There we go. So we get those holes right there lined up. Like I said, this is, it's tricky. Uh, very doable, but man, it's tricky. So I'm gonna take your pin, back in this hole here. You do have to be careful, and I only know because of experience when you're taking this back in, make sure this piece is lined up with the hole. Otherwise, you're gonna end up bending, you're gonna press it too hard, and this little metal piece is gonna flex right out on you. So I'm gonna go slow and watch. Not perfect alignment. Now, what you also have to make sure you can see this inside sticking out further than the other, there's no stop or anything. You basically got to get that lined up evenly on both sides. So I got about the same amount of pin on both sides. All right. Now, last part. It racks fine. I got a mag. Couple 30 off six shells in it. All right, so we're out here and we're testing. We're gonna see what happens. Went in good. Oh yeah. So you can see that case. There's a couple little scratches on it, but there are no pits or dents. So that is exactly what we wanted to happen uh, after cleaning that chamber. Just nice smooth ejection of that ammo. So I hope you guys liked this video. Hope you learned something from it. Uh, you know how to clean out a chamber if you ever have to. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, hit that like button. If you, uh, if you like uh, guns and hunting and fishing and just outdoor related content, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell so you can stay in tune with us. As always, guys, thanks for watching.